What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to a Secret Santa gift unboxing video. Um, some of you may already know, but every year I sign up for the Reddit Secret Santa, and um, each year I get something amazing. Uh, sometimes it's posters, sometimes it's something more, you never know what, it, you, what you'll get. But uh, uh, sadly this is actually take two. I, uh, I didn't quite open my second gift because I got I got two packages I got an envelope which encased was this very special book Chuck Norris cannot be stopped it contains 400 facts uh, about the man um, it's by Ian Spector and basically I read the back and I read a little something in the book uh, I won't read something the exact same thing that was in that I read before I'm having trouble saying that for some reason. But I will reread the back. So, it says, The legend of Chuck Norris lives on. After the deadly duo of The Truth About Chuck Norris and Chuck Norris vs. Mr. T roundhouse kicked readers, best-selling author Ian Spector returns to complete the, tr the trilogy that has become just an un- Wait. That has become just as unstoppable, herculean, and legendary as Chuck Norris himself. Chuck Norris Cannot Be Stopped reveals 400 all-new facts about the roughest, toughest, and buffest man to ever scorch the earth. This third testament about the master of macho manliness uncovers such unknown facts as Jesus follows Chuck Norris on Twitter. The reason we haven't found Osama Bin Laden is because Chuck Norris found him first. When Chuck Norris tells time, time obeys. When Chuck Norris... Uh, I already read that. A solar eclipse is the sun's attempt to hide from Chuck Norris. <laughs> so, does that mean the eclipse that we had this year, it was the sun that was escaping from Chuck Norris? So Chuck Norris was in space at that time. Um, someone once put Chuck Norris on hold. That's where the term chokehold comes from. <laughs> A man once broke every bone in his body to avoid Chuck Norris doing it for him, which sounds very terrible. <laughs> Brimming with brawn and full of fortitude, Chuck Norris Cannot Be Stopped contains everything you ever wanted to know about Chuck Norris, but we're too terrified to ask. So, I'm gonna... It's basically, on the inside, it's not like full pages, it's just like, there's facts on each page, and then there's some pictures as well. So if I just open one, let's see, this one here. Chuck Norris's Rice Krispies don't say shit until he gives them the okay. And it shows a picture of him eating one of the characters. You can see, oh, wrong page. You can see his uh, boot is right there, and there's like blood splatter. It, that's <laughs> that's great. But yeah, um, I won't say your last name, but Carl, thank you so much for this gift. I am going to read that over the holidays. In the second one, I had a box. It was uh, a box of this size. Whoops, of this size. That's a flap. Um, so I opened it, there was a tube inside of this gift bag, and uh, there was also deflated um, packaging, <laughs> but there was also an envelope, it said, keep your gift a surprise, unwrap your present before opening this envelope. So I got this, and already I can see through the, the bubble wrap a little bit, at first I just see gears and I thought okay is it something steampunk related but then excuse me then I turned it over and you can kind of make out the TARDIS and Doctor Who which I'm a huge fan of wait a second okay it's a travel mod I on the tag on the side it said something about vacuum I'm like is, this isn't a vacuum <laughs> uh, wide mouth for adding ice Awesome. You know, it's kind of funny story. I have uh, a travel mug, roughly the same size, and um, I had actually the. It was made of the same material because um, I like my water really cold. So this should. Um, I'm pretty sure this will do the same effect. But it was like, no matter what liquid you put in it, it would keep hot, hot, and cold, cold. It kept whatever temperature the liquid was at. And uh, I liked it so much, and it was very useful, but when I go to the gym, sometimes I put put it on the roof of the car, and then 
Uh, I unlock the car because I don't have a button. I actually have to like put the key in the door and turn it. And sometimes I forget to grab grab it off of the roof, and then I start driving, and either I'll remember before it actually falls off, or it will actually tip over, roll off of the roof of my car, and hit the pavement. <laughs> and there was one time I did that, and it hit the ground really hard and got really dinged up. Uh, it's still usable, but um, I just don't like how rough it looks. So this is actually perfect timing. This is uh, this is great. I like this. Oh, it actually says on here keeps hot drinks hot and cold drinks cold for six hours. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Well, anyways, um, Carl. Again, thank you so much for these gifts. I appreciate them very much. Um, yeah, it's. I, I don't really know what to say. Like, I just I'm I'm very appreciative of these gifts, even though it's just a bag. I kind of want to keep this to like reuse for like my like when I gift my parents or something, um, which I'm going to visit. Um, I think the day after I'm recording this, I'm going to go visit them. So, if you're watching this, this is me explaining to you why there are so many pictures of my cat on my Snapchat. <laughs> or in my Discord. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And, uh, again, Carl, thank you. I appreciate these gifts very much. And, uh, I will definitely be putting them to use. And, uh, yeah, Merry Christmas to all. And, um... Happy New Year once that happens. <laughs> Here's to 2018. Um, hopefully in 2018 things go well because one, I'll be f uh, not quite finishing college, but I'll be finishing the course part. Um, but I'll be starting my internship in April. Um, not sure exactly what I'm going to do for my internship yet, but after the internship, which ends in September, I may or may not... Um, be moving in with a friend uh, I'm not going to go into detail because we we want to do it in sort of a surprise form so I'm not going to say who, where, or when but that may or may not be happening um, otherwise I'll probably just move in with my dad until I figure out what's going to happen but after my internship I become a video game tester I'll be working from home and that would allow me to put more time into YouTube as well as Twitch. So again, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, bye from now. I'm gonna meow the f*** out of you.